Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I don't have your typical Blast in the Past Wednesday. That's actually going to resume next week. Um, this video is extra special because not only is it the very first day of spring, it is in collaboration with Glam Burger. And I love her channel so much. She is just such a sweet and down to earth person. She does unboxings and makeup tutorials and get ready with me story time. I've seen her do a couple vlogs and she's just a well-rounded channel and just like I said her personality is absolutely amazing. Down to earth, honest, and she is who she is and I love that about her. So make sure you guys go check her out. I will have her channel listed right here and I will also have all her information listed down below. So as soon as you're finished here, head over there. <laughs> so with it being the first day of spring, I chose pinks and yellows and I am really, really digging this, you guys. I think it is so pretty. Let me bring you in just a little bit closer. So this is the look that we are going to be doing today and I really like it. <laughs> All right. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Starting off this look, I'm going to use my Sigma eyeshadow base primer. Using the Lemonade Palette by Dominique Cosmetics, I'm going to start with the shade Nude Tea and just put this all over my lid. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in the shade Mango. I'm going to put this on my outer corner and work this high above my crease. another fluffy brush I'm gonna take the shade sweet tea and do the same exact thing I just did with the shade mango putting this on the outer corner and working it into the crease Going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette, I'm going to use the shade Monte Carlo and put this on the outer corner and in the crease as well. Really 
I have already cut my crease. I use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade 00, which is white. And I'm gonna go into the Lemonade Palette with the shade Strawberry and put this on the outer portion of where I cut my crease. Now I'm gonna take the shade Pink Lemonade and put this on the middle portion of the concealer. Now going in with the shade Lemon Soda, I'm going to put this on the inner portion of the concealer. really really pretty I am really liking this so far I don't know if you can tell on camera but this ombre effect is so pretty so I am going to finish my other eye and do my foundation and my eyelashes and all that good stuff and I'll be back okay so I am back I cannot believe I just spent probably a little over an hour doing my foundation and my brows because it took forever to get these lashes on. Like I know I'm new at lashes, but this was ridiculous. Um, they were a brand new pair that I've never tried before. I bought some Ardell lashes. That's what these are. Um, I don't think I will be buying them again. I've never had this much trouble with the kiss lashes. So that was kind of disheartening. I mean, they're really, really pretty. They're still not like perfect um because i had so much trouble with them but you know we gotta move on <laughs> so um i'm gonna work on the lower lash line for the first color i want to go in with the lower lash line is the mango color so that's this shade right here Now using the ABH Riviera palette, I'm going to take the shade Monte Carlo and put this over the mango shade, leaving just a little bit of the yellow peeking up at the top.
that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy the way that this look turned out. I know I certainly did. It's definitely fun and spring and just bright colors. Very, very, very pretty. So please do not forget to check out Glam Burger. She is just so awesome, and I think you guys would really enjoy her channel. Um, and if you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!